Hello guys, for this video I'm going to show you how to draft a basic female bodice. For clear demonstration, I'm drafting on a one fifth size pattern by using a ratio ruler. If you want to draft a full size bodice, just use a regular ruler and follow the steps. Let's start. You will only need three measurements for this bodice. The first one is your bust measurements, which we'll label B star. The second one is your bust adding 12 cm of ease, which we'll call B. And the last one is your back length which is the distance from the back of your neck to your waist. For myself, I'm of 158cm height, it's about 38cm, just for a reference. First, we'll construct a rectangle. The length is half of B. For me, it's 52, and the width or height is your back length BL. For me, it's 38. When we draft a basic pattern, we usually draft half of it because we assume everything is symmetrical. It's also faster and easier. If your left and right measurements are slightly different, then you can alter the pattern by doing a fitting afterwards. Now we split it in half by finding and connecting the midpoints on the length. Afterwards, we can start constructing the back neckline. First, the width is calculated by 0.05 times B star, adding 2.5 cm. We will define it as X and use it later in other measurements. It is quite a lot of math, but you just have to do it once and you can save the pattern forever, so it's kind of worth it. Now do the depth, which is just one third of X. Now find the back shoulder seam, draw a horizontal line and draw a line 15 degrees clockwise. Lift the horizontal by B star over 60. Elongate this line to the center front and we will start constructing the front neckline. The depth is X plus 0.5. Draw a horizontal line there and the width is x minus 0.2. Draw a perpendicular line and we have the frame for our front neck line. Now draw the front shoulder seam, which is 24 degrees from the horizontal line. And we'll find the bust line, it is 0.1 times your height plus 8 cm from the top of your neck line. Next, we need to find the back width. Calculate 0.13 times B star plus 7. Find that distance from your center back and draw a perpendicular line there. Now we do the front by calculating 0.13 times B star plus 5.8. Find the distance from your center front and draw a line there. Now you have a frame in the middle and this is the frame for your armhole. Before moving on, I like to round up the neckline first. I usually just wing it using a French curve because the neckline is usually altered anyway when you actually draft a garment. Next, we start finding the dots and the armhole. Start with the back. Divide the distance from your neck to your bust into 5 equal parts. Draw a horizontal line on the second portion. Measure 1.5 cm from your back width and find an intersection point with your back shoulder seam. Calculate B star over 40 minus 0.5. This is your back start measurement. Draw a dot at the midpoint on the horizontal line and you can start rounding up the back armhole. I like to wing it as well, but make sure the curve touches the back width as shown on the screen. Now we move on to the front. Find the apex by calculating 0.1 times B star plus 0.5. Find the distance from your center front and label the apex on the bust line. Now calculate the bust dot by B star over 40 plus 2. Find this length on the side seam and construct the dot. Find a horizontal line as shown here and label an intersection point on the chest width. And find the midpoint between two intersections on the chest width. Measure the length of your back shoulder seam. Find the same distance on the front. Connect the end of the front shoulder seam, the midpoint we created and the dot opening. The pattern is complete. This bodice is an industrial pattern but it can be very useful to household sewing, especially if you don't have a mannequin to drape on. It can be the base of all sorts of tops, it can be developed into a blouse, a dress or a coat anything you like. I hope you find this useful and I will see you on the next video.